Let's talk a little bit about the effects that COVID-19 has had and continues to have on the way that we look at the world of work. When the circuit breaker or the lockdown happened, uh, a lot of us found ourselves all of a sudden having to work from home pretty much five days a week, 10, 11, sometimes longer hours a day. And surprisingly enough, uh, despite of the initial, on the initial barriers that people have faced in doing so, most of us have adapted quite well. Actually, there are loads of research in the market and loads of research carried out by different organizations, uh, Itoki being one of them, um, where information was collected from employees as well as from the managers to see how they coped in this time when people had to work remotely. The results are pretty encouraging in a way. Most of us have adapted quite fast. Uh, most of us actually see a lot of benefits in being able to have the choice to work from home. Also, interestingly, most of us have not necessarily in the future indicated that we would want to only work from home, but an ideal, uh, ideal mix would be a um, combination of home and office. So for those of you that are worried or concerned that the office is going to disappear, I would say based on the data we have to date, uh, based on the discussions we've had with a lot of companies, the office is not going to disappear, but very likely the office will need to be reinvented and reinvent itself. Now, a lot of us um, having, you know, sort of indicated that we like to work more from home, we would like to do some activities from the office. And what is interesting, even though those answers are different company by company, some trends can somehow be um, uh, found in all this research. One of the trends is that most of us prefer to do personal activities, individual activities, like reading uh, documentation, reviewing documentation, doing deep focus work, um, taking uh, confidential calls, we tend to prefer to do it from home. Most probably because also our home environments are uh, allowing a level of confidentiality on privacy that a lot of open offices were not offering in the past. On the other side, most of us, we seem to indicate that we would like to go to the office for the social interaction, right? Uh, having mentoring sessions, uh, talking to our colleagues, brainstorming, uh, collaborating, meeting customers, uh, welcoming some of the guests that we're having. So um, I think there is a bit of a shift in what the role of the office will be in the future. Um, but what I'm telling you now is pretty much average across a number of organizations. I think it's quite important that every organization will figure out what activities their employees and their managers would ideally want to have from the office versus from home and find the right equation and the right balance that works specifically for you. What is interesting now that as we're now exploring a bit this balance around working from home, working from the office, a topic has become very clear, which is the working split is one. You know, how many days would we work from home versus from the office? Another element that is important is around how do we do it? How do we make sure that we create the same level of experience for people that are working remote and for people that are in the office? How do we make sure that collaboration ends up being seamless when people are calling in a meeting from different locations? So the questions that we're now getting from the, our customers are less around how much space can we save if we're embracing a new model of work or um, how can we necessarily increase collaboration between teams, uh, but much more around if our people can work from everywhere, what role will our offices serve? Or questions around, does our current office support or actually inhibit uh, our employees' well-being? Or a question that we get very often is, um, if this is happening, how can we influence in the future the degree of flexibility and agility in our organization? And what does an activity-based culture, an activity-based thinking, actually mean for us and how it can really support us with our growth in the future. These are totally different questions that we're getting from our customers. I have to say I'm quite happy about it uh, because I think more and more organizations are now realizing that the way people work is as fundamental to their business as having a solid business strategy or a very good brand promise.